What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? How y'all doing? My name is Jacoby, aka the Habitual Pixel, and I'm bringing you a little bit of an update, random commentary kind of video on a few different topics. I'm playing some One Finger Death Punch here, survival mode. Uh, basically, it's the, uh, you know, like a wave style horde mode in uh, one of the best games I've played this year, actually, One Finger Death Punch. Uh, this is my highest score I've ever gotten on survival, so I figured I'd use it for a commentary. Uh, give you a little something, a little something, something to watch, you know. I think this game is uh, very fun, and I think, you know, dollar for dollar, it's one of the most fun per dollar spent games out there, period. Uh, right up there with, you know, Faster Than Light, Binding of Isaac, and such. Uh, I think this game costs about five bucks, and it's hella fun. Everyone should check it out. It's on Steam. If you want to uh, hear my opinion on it and my first impressions and whatnot, I got a video of that. You can click right about here. Annotation. What up? But that's not the reason I made this video today. I'm just basically giving you a general update on my life, my channel, and I'm going to do a little bit of E3 rambling because E3 is next week and it's, uh, you know, it is the biggest time for video games in terms of uh, announcements, releases, and trailers, things like that. But uh, anywho. Let's start with my channel. I haven't posted too, too many videos in the last week or so. I missed a couple days here and there, and uh, I apologize for that. I did try, I did want to try and make a point to uh, post a video every goddamn day, but I kind of slipped on that a little bit. I've been a busy beaver up here in Canada, what can I say? Uh, I've actually been just working a shitload, and uh, uh, that's about it, you know? Kissing girls and paying bills, that's what I've been up to, and uh, hasn't left too, too much time for, uh, for video shenanigans, even though I absolutely love doing these. Um, don't you worry, though. The videos will come back in full force. I got uh, plenty of content on the way. I got just oodles and oodles of Gary's Mod footage to sift through for you guys. There's some really awesome moments in there that I have to uh, have to edit. Um, I'm going to continue my Resident Evil Let's Play. Um, problem with Let's Plays and me, anyways, is I don't often finish them. Uh, but Resident Evil, I feel I can finish in another couple sittings, just because it's not the longest game in the world, and I'm already roughly halfway through, give or take, so that will continue. As far as other videos, I just downloaded the uh, the Forest, I think it's called, that new survival sim early access, because I'm a fucking idiot and keep paying money for games that aren't done yet, because uh, that's how I roll, early access, what up? You don't even have to finish your game anymore to sell it on Steam. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be making a video of that. Uh, I've been playing just an ass load of Civilization V recently. Uh, a solo campaign and a campaign I started with my buddy Skamu, who uh, you can see in the uh, Throwback Thursday video that I uploaded earlier today, or yesterday, depending on when this goes up. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, and we've just been having a blast playing Civ. I, f I really, really love that game. And I'd like to make some videos of it, but I just feel it might not be the best material for videos just because it's so long and there's uh, there's definite lulls in the, uh, the talking and the action and whatnot. It's a strategy game, right? And it's, you know, on top of that it can take, I think we're 12 hours deep into this game and it's still, I would say, it's roughly half over. We haven't even uh, knocked off any of the other civilizations yet. So yeah, it'll take some doing to get her done. But uh, if a civ civilization videos or something you might be interested in let me know I think I'm gonna try recording our next game anyways just to kind of see if uh, see what it's like and see if maybe it'll make a good video like a podcast style video just with some uh, civilization political intrigue backstabbing going on in the background um, but I'm gonna try and get a game together with a few people and uh, I think I'll record it I think it could be fun but uh, I look forward to that in the future um, as far as other content I'd like to keep doing indie games and uh, uh, random adventures in browser gaming I got a couple of those coming your way I'd like to make those both weekly series but I mean who the hell knows if I'm gonna keep that up so I'm not gonna promise anything but I'll definitely keep making indie game videos and web game videos just because I love both of those kind of games so very much indie games are great I love the, uh, the liberties some of them take and web games are just 
you know, friggin' ridiculous because there's no gosh darn rules on the web and you can put any, you know, any kind of content you want out there. God bless the internet. Um, yes. But, uh, more of that on the way. I got uh, a few random games that I've been playing. Um, if you are just in dire needs of uh, shenanigans from me and Wolf and Sickly, Floyd, all those guys I play Gmod with, you can check out their channels, link in the description below. They've both been posting videos here and there that uh, I am featured in as well, and uh, I love those guys. They, they make really good content and they're fun to, uh, fun to play video games with. But uh, anywho, let's talk a little bit about E3, shall we? E3 is next week, surprisingly. Uh, it always kind of sneaks up on me. I always seem to be busy around this time of year, and I don't realize, oh, hey, the biggest, one of the biggest weeks in gaming is coming up. Um, and E3 has, you know, lost a, lost a little bit of its luster over the years, I think. It's not quite as, oh, shit, it's E3, and everyone pays, you know, attention to it like they used to but it's still a big deal for me anyways just because it's um you know it's when it's when they show off everything that you're going to be playing for the next year or two and uh they're hopefully this year there's going to be some big announcements last year we saw the debut of the next gen systems which uh, i don't believe i'm alone in this thought that uh, the next gen systems have been very underwhelming in my opinion I still have yet to purchase a PS4 or an Xbox One. I mean, I'll get them both eventually, but at the time of this recording, there's not a damn thing I really want to play them on that's uh, like, I must play this game, so I must buy an Xbox One or PS4. Um, the only thing I can think of is Dead Rising 3, just because I love the Dead Rising series, but uh, rumor has it this morning, even, that uh, that will make its way to Steam in the coming months, so I'm probably just going to wait for that and, you know... Uh, I'm gonna work on building a new rig by the end of the summer to play all the newest games for you on. And, uh, Dead Rising 3, I'll probably just play that on PC because, you know, PC is superior. But as far as other games to be teased slash announced slash debuted at E3, there's a couple things I really want. Uh, it's likely that we're gonna see Mirror's Edge 2. I'm excited to see that. There's definitely gonna be news on Halo 5 Guardians. I know uh, Sickly, my buddy, is a huge fan of Halo, and we're likely gonna do a little podcast kind of thing on the reveal of that, depending on how much information gets leaked. Um, we might see a new Zelda. I'd like to see that. We'll see a little bit more. Uh, I want to see what's new from Nintendo because they have just, in my humble opinion, just have been shitting the bed in the last few years. Um, I love Nintendo. I grew up with them. They are part of making me who I am and definitely part of making me the kind of gamer that I am. I mean, we all love Nintendo. Who, I have yet to meet a gamer who didn't start with a Nintendo console at some point in their life. But they, uh, lately, they've just really shit the bed. They've left the hardcore audience in the in the past. They've uh, they haven't really developed a, a sturdy online system comparable to Xbox Live. So I don't know. I'm curious to see. But more importantly, I want Fallout 4. Fallout 4 announced that shit, Bethesda, and I will just cream my pants. I cannot wait for Fallout 4 to be announced. I want to see a trailer, and I. Oh, I want it. And as well, we're going to see uh, Star Wars Battlefront 3. Huh? Huh? There is a little bit of my youth, but uh, I would just love to see those games. And I will definitely do a post E3 wrap up video. But um, in the meantime, I think I'm just going to work on some Gary's Mod and stuff. And uh, I'll definitely do a wrap up video post E3. And I'm always excited to see the press conferences and stuff. But besides uh, Battlefront 3 and Fallout 4, those are my most wanted. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there'll be other great games and other stuff announced, but that's what I want most, and I also want a reason to buy the new consoles, if any, because if they keep disappointing me, then I'm just gonna, you know, I'm never gonna buy the console, the bloody thing, but, um, yeah, we'll see how they, uh, how they fare this year against the, uh, the ever-growing PC crowd, but that's my time for today, I hope y'all have enjoyed my random commentary, and I will see you guys soon, have a good day. Thank you.